Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about natural zinc ionophores. So what is an ionophore and why do we need to have a support for zinc transport? So let's get right into it. Natural zinc ionophores. Zinc is an essential micronutrient or trace mineral binds to approximately 2,800 human proteins for catabolic processes, structural growth, as well as metabolic processes or regulatory function. So what are some of the properties of zinc? Antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antiviral. And for today's lecture, we're talking about the purposes of how it will affect antiviral properties. Foods, oysters, crabs, lobsters, red meat, poultry, and nuts. Consideration, if you're taking a lot of zinc, especially over 30, 50 you know, uh, milligrams, you wanna consider using copper. The proper ratio can be anywhere from 15 to one. Some studies say 25 to one. So you'll need to supplement a little bit of copper if you're taking a lot of zinc, okay? Zinc needs help in transporting through the cell membrane. So that's what a zinc ionophore does. It helps the transport of zinc into or bypass the cell membrane so it can do its job once it gets into the cells. So what are some natural zinc ionophores? Now there's a lot of information out there uh, on this and there's a lot of other doctors talking about this, but I wanted to put it in one place for you. Quercetin is a zinc ionophore. EGCG, or epigallocatechin gallate, curcumin. Those are the three major ones. There are others, okay? So in terms of dosages, if we're doing a preventative uh, measure, especially during the winter months where people are more susceptible for flu, colds, etc., you can use zinc, 15 to 30 milligrams twice a day on an empty stomach. You can use quercetin, 500 milligrams twice a day on an empty stomach. Now there are quercetins that are what we call phytosomes and those you can take with meals. EGCG is 100 to 200 milligrams per day with meals. Curcumin is 500 milligrams once a day with meals, okay? So that's more of a preventative measure that you can utilize during the winter months. At the first sign of a cold or a flu symptom, what you want to do is double the dosage. So what I just recommended as a preventative dosage, dose, uh, dosage you want to go ahead and double it at the first signs and symptoms, okay? Now, other considerations. Vitamin D plus K2 and magnesium. Vitamin C, elderberry, echinacea, and astragalus. Now, these are a lot of different supplements and we don't want to overwhelm our body with too many supplements and being so regimented. So what I would just recommend is maybe a preventative measure, okay? And at the first sign, just double the dosage, okay? So there are also, you know, people are taking, you know, multivitamins and all these supplements and it, it just becomes overwhelming for a lot of patients. So this is just some simple strategies uh, to help prevent colds and flus over the winter. Basically what zinc does is it helps prevent replication of these viruses. So we need to get zinc through the cell so it can do its job within the cell. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.